hello guys so i'm back i got my other video uploaded but i didn't quite get to finish it because i had to make a run guys so you guys is traveling along with me and we up in this thing right okay guys uh what i get a download from is um and i don't have any cards with me but i have a lot of downloads that i really need to be giving out from just seeing through things that i know about and i'm gonna start putting it out there not as much as i may not put their name on it but i know their signs and i know who they are i know who they are you know i'm not gonna you know what i'm saying but i'm putting it out there into the universe into god because god wanted me to put it out there and let them know they're walking on thin ice they in trouble with the anointing of the Holy Ghost, okay? He's going to hand them over to Satan. And that's going to be their best bet, right? Because uh, they wanted to make, you know, difficult situations be your best bet. So, they wanted to make different di difficult situations be your best bet. So, they need to be over there with Satan, let it, letting it be their best bet for doing all that they have done behind the scene and it's because they're mad because you spoke the truth because otherwise they would be like uh that you know what i'm saying otherwise you know what i'm saying a lot of them too a lot of people too the narcissism in them and the controlling tactic and what they have always been able to use to play on people's top like their beauty or their narcissistic tactics of thinking they're number one at everything and they rule the world yeah um it's a actress or a actress or artist or um someone who have paid this person this actress or uh or, or artist is a cancer and it's a female now, granted, it could be a male as well, but this is a female who did this. And this female, you rejected them. You you didn't fall under their little trailblazer or their little trance or their little uh, uh, trend or whatever. And they're pissed. Even some in your family. It's different signs, but over here where you live in the community, it's like people that call themselves like got businesses or whatever whatever and you just know who they are in general you know their tactics you know what they have done in the past you know these are people that's been sitting around really haven't been healing been superficial based been pretending as though they're miss nicey nice person but have not done any work it, it's all a facade and everything else well this person felt the need she's paying a tarot reader to to um be controversial to your your readings this tarot re reader uh been watching you for a while and they're doing it for this celebrity or this actor or whatever it is they're paying her your her subscribers is gonna shoot up skyrockety high um they're paying her to target you and this terror reader is going along with it and i mean boy uh if she would have been a actor in a show she could have my god she would be a good one this person would be a good one because she gets up on there and one minute she's crying and, oh, I need help. And now she's saying that you want to be the victim. You literally are a person that have endured a lot. And also to do with parenting, it's three stages I went through dealing with parenting and coming from dealing with my childhood wounds to now to where i just got i got over it i got healed before my parents died i was more of accepting okay 
I knew that wasn't anything going to be able to be done about what have happened in the past and that I couldn't get that time back and to forgive and get over it and move forward. Now, granted, while I was in those, those positions of low vibration and wanting to blame someone or whatever and, you know, no. I'm not playing victim. I don't want to be a victim. I've been a victim, but I'm a victor, okay? We're above and past all of that. And this person was so mad because they wanted to try to make, they want someone to sympathize with them. Uh, it, it was hard for them to believe that you had been through all of that, even though they wanted to look at you on a low scale, a low to be low because you wasn't up there with them and you hadn't did what they done, but you still been in the field. And that was spiritually. So your high spiritual ranking outweighed their physical aspects of life and they did not like it. Okay, this is a, now certain ones are not. They're humble, just as the arrogant ones and the entitled ones wanted you to be more, they thought you were being not so humble and they wanted to bring you up off of your high horses. They didn't know while you were going through those trialing moments, you felt like crap. Even though you were speaking high almighty, you know, you, you, you spoke with the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You raised yourself up out of that pit. You raised yourself up out of the mud. You, and you're not even out of the mud. I'm not saying it like that. You raised yourself up out of those pitfalls, up out of those dungeons that people had tried to stomp you down in. The holes, you know what I'm saying? You you had to grab a hold to your strength and pull yourself up and out to even be able to come to YouTube and dress up and, you know, fix yourself up and speak what you spoke and deal what you deal and all of this, you know what I'm saying? You had to speak life into yourself. That is a hard job. You had no support, no love, wasn't nobody there, okay? You didn't have all of this praise, praise, praise from the people, from the people. You know what I'm saying? And you've been one that's really been beat down way more than what this actor is, have, have endeared or whatever. It's nothing wrong with her. Yeah, spoil. Um, yeah, uh, miss all of that, but still have all of these insecurities. Miss competitor, um, yeah, that's her. Miss, um, I am number one at everything. Miss, I'll take your man thing. Miss, um, I can have and do anything I want. Can't nobody tell me what to do. This is one of those persons, but they hide that. I will stomp everybody down to get to where I want to get to. I will be seen. I will be this. I will be that. I look better than her. I look on um, this, on um, that. This is that person. But it's those insecurities that really be riding down on this person. So this person wanted to make you look like, you know, you had, you, 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 you want to play innocent and the victim and all that. D didn't know that. You done been through real live poop, okay? Real life, real life. Like, if it had been them, they wouldn't have never. This person who I'm talking about that is Miss High Class, Miss Actor, Miss Competitor, Miss I'm Above You, Miss This, and Miss I've been doing this for 20 years, but didn't know you've been out here in the field putting your life at risk, healing people, praying for people, praying that they got before you even did, giving to people when you didn't even have it, going without things because of other people being of their insecurities and their jealousies and their PP brain to try to sabotage you and destroy you. You've been through war, spiritual warfare for real. This person couldn't have never withstood what you have endured. But here they are, and they're getting ready to receive karma because they wouldn't quit playing on your top. 
they wouldn't quit going and paying for this witchcraft to try to destroy you silently. So now this person is paying, uh, and boy, is this a uh, 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 tarot reader, an uh, actor. If she could have been an actor or if she could be on a TV show, if she could, oh boy, she could play a role. She could play the role. Do you hear me? And she's getting what she wants. And, you know, most likely I'm starting to see that. Like people that's really being genuine and that come to these people, even though we try to dress ourselves up, we be the ones that's going through it. I'm talking about endured, 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 and still enduring. Okay, haven't even met half of the things that people have done for other people. And these people will help this person. They can't even see through the facade. They can't even see through the illusion. They can't even see through the lies. They can't even see through all of this schizophrenic ass bull crap. Okay, but they are the ones that come here to try to use controversial and reverse psychology to play on your top and get recognition and get help. Like, I don't understand it. I don't. I don't understand why these people don't take out the time. These are low vibrational, shallow page knights, um, cormates, whatever you want to call them, that can come with the story and boy blow your socks off blow your head full blast way back to the back wall with a story that they're telling that is a fair ass out lie they be coming with these fake cries i mean people are using god's name in vain they be oh um man when i'm going through it i go to god and i tell god i say god where can I go to get some help? I need some help. And I be crying to myself. I don't come up on here or whatever. I have never just totally came acting like I was a victim. Although I have been victimized. I mean, from organized hate crime to that is terrorism. To being stomped on to everything else in the nations. Okay. These people have really been playing on my top and gathering up elites and karmic elites and try uh, 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 triangulation like I mean they got so many people in groups that's coming for me if they're not stalking me to take my stuff spiritually to take things that's coming from my energy and not give me back equally I mean, they're just going to take from me to it's nothing else left to take. But this, that was their mission. But God wanted them to do that. God want them to put me in that pit. God wanted them to play their part in my life. So he'll know just what to do next. So he'll know how to let the devil handle them. They're going to get their karma and they're going to get it this year. I'm not playing the games with these people no more. I'm calling them out by name. Whoever have did any injustice to me, they going into that pit right with me. And I, I Garrett, we're going to see who's going to make it out. We're going to see if they can withstand all of this, that these battles. They're going to, the mental torment, the ugliness that they flew at me, the, the hate. The jealousy, the envy, and the taking from me, the stealing from me, the lies, the cheating, just everything, the gossiping. We're going to see if they could handle it. And this is for you guys, too, that's on the same vibration. They have, I mean, had our. they want you, your mental up here. They want you all in your head. They're sending that energy to you to do that. They are trying to destroy you, almost slay you, trying to kill you, trying to belittle you, trying to unalike whatever they can do to you. They are Satan himself, demon, demons, demons, demons. The full demonic advocate that you would ever want to think of, it's them. And he played the part of using them, okay? 
So anyway, this person is going back and oh, yada, yada, this, that, and you're playing victim. No, I ain't never, not like that. Not even in the community. I have not went and been able to cry on nobody's shoulder but God. I haven't been able to cry to nobody but myself and God. I haven't been able to go to these people. I had to go to God. Only the strong survive. So all of this rhetoric and about them trying to talk about this, that, and the third, and what somebody did, everything, every, they got one finger pointing at me, and it's 10 going back to them. And we're going to see if they can handle those swords that they sent for me. Yeah. Sent for the collective, period. Like, this is so annoying and crazy. These people are so out of their, outside their bodies, they will do anything, kill, steal, and destroy to become something or to just do something or just lie. You got tons of people just lie on here. They lie. They make up stories. And they, boy, do they sound good. That's why I'm coming with the study of a fortune teller. I'm coming with a, a series of the fortune teller and break it down and make you guys understand. No, I wouldn't want to be called no fortune teller. Because a fortune teller is only worried about one and one thing only. Money and them telling lies. A teller, a lie teller. Fortune, they want money. That's what they're there for. That's what they're here for. They don't care what type of lies they have to tell you. They don't tell what type of stories they make up. They don't tell what they have to do to get there. They're going to manipulate and deceive and con their asses all the way into hell. Period. Okay, guys. So, anywho. This is where we're at. You got a ce celebrity that have used someone to come for you. Use someone to come for you. And this person is coming for you and not even knowing they are gonna see karma quickening the person that sent them. I, I kid you not. They know about what's going on with these group, the group stalking and who have who have paid them to do all of this stuff towards you and then they're getting more by coming to you you guys playing the victim playing on you guys weakness oh, oh i'm serious i am serious y'all just got to i'm so hungry i don't i'm just outside i just get somebody just please and it's fake and they know how to do it real 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 and if they could play in a movie oh my god they would be the best actor and it's Satan himself playing on these people's minds and in their head to even come and do that to you guys and to me or whatever. They're all, it's all a lie. I would start telling them, give me proof because tomorrow you're going to be over here doing something all happy and lovely and dandy for yourself. Every, all of us need some help. God told, he says it in his word. Don't ask for help. Ask him. And he'll send it to you. That's, a, that's another way to know or whatever if people playing on your top or not. Or they're using, you know, just, you know, just doing a bunch of stuff to get to the top. They're playing on people's weaknesses. I've had people to do me like that. And I was fucking starving. God forgive me for cussing. I was like in a bad position. My damn self. Like horrible position. 
and I wasn't doing what they were doing. That's how you know, like, people don't care. They don't. Whatever they have to do, they're going to do it. Please just help me. Like, man, these people are so bipolar and so outside their bodies and so, but you can't tell them anything. And they get mad because you know what they're doing. So they ain't going to come for you because you know, you see the truth and God is showing you who they really, really are. So guys, don't be fooled. I'm telling y'all, you know, uh, you know, some of these readers, like the readings do be good and they do be resonating, but a lot of these people are karmic. Like, do you think these people are good and we know that all of this bad stuff is going on in the world? No, you got to think logical for these karmic people because it's tons of them. It's more people doing bad than good. So just take that bit and sum it up for yourself. Like, is this a person that's wooing me or what? Is this person real? Like, people will do anything to gain recognition, money, fame for Like, I don't want to be, no. I'm not a fortune teller. I'm not here for reading cards for wealth and um, to tell a lie. Because fortune teller, that's what that is. And I'm going to give y'all the break it all the way down. I got all the, like everything, the information. So this actor or whatever, like she don't like the fact that you have really endured and she really haven't and she hate that so she came for you solidly and she's coming for you like she don't like you because you rejected her and you showed her herself who she is you showed her her reflection you, you made these people go look at themselves in the mirror because they're not good and they haven't been being good I don't care if they're an actor, an artist, a celebrity, a preacher, a teacher, a lawyer, a doctor. Just because you're high up on the high horses and you got background, seniority, and, you know, a trail blaze line of experience of acting, rapping, singing, all of that. You could have been a whole narcissist out here doing all of that from day one. Stomped on people, hurt people rejected people, lied on people, killed people, stole from people, you would be amazed at how many people have really took people out just for fame, fortune, and money. Don't fool yourself. Guys, y'all wake up. Wake up. We are here to wake these mofos up, okay? So anyway... Guys, yeah, this person sent these people after you and she's telling your story and they're telling her what to say. And it may not be every day that they're using the tactics to try to, you know, get at you, but they're doing it, okay? This person been paid. So it's best to keep your mind clear. Keep your energy cleansed. And uh, I got some other stuff that I know that can protect you for the, from these people. I wasn't using it, but my mom came to me in the spirit. And I, I'm also going to talk about mom and dads and healing and what I went through and how I felt. Because it wasn't good. It was a point in time I spoke ugly of my mom and dad. Like, not really so much as my dad because I felt like... He was locked up and that, you know, it was nothing he could do. But I, at certain times, I still got angry as well, too, about that. Because I was like, if he hadn't have been doing the ugly things that he did, he would still, he would have been here for me. And none of this, you know, bad stuff that didn't happen to me, it wouldn't have happened or whatever. So, you know, I it was just up and down and all around when it came to my mom and dad. And 
No, none of these times was good. Like, I was saying ugly stuff about my mom, too. Okay? So, understand that. Like, bro, I've had my mom to do some bad stuff to me, too. But I forgave her before she passed away. And now I'm over it. It's no sense in me dwelling on it because she's not even here anymore. And that was in the past. So, you know. Anyways, and with my dad, too, like, you know, I went through the motion, like, everything haven't been peaches and cream. I'm just over that mountain right now. So, anyway, guys, I'll be back with some more. If you don't mind, if you would like and subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. Bye.